Hello, my name is James and welcome to Mirror Domains. And this is a trailer reaction for Birds of Prey, the Harley Quinn movie that's coming out next year. Yes, Margot Robbie is back as Harley Quinn in Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Let's check it out. So, Birds of Prey. I think uh, we saw the poster the other week there that was released, and I think that poster looks fantastic. I did a quick little teaser reaction to that. Uh, I'll leave a link to that one up in the cards above. But I think uh, so far from what I've seen of this production and from what I've read, I'm kind of excited. I'll just quickly read the synopsis here for you guys. After splitting with the Joker, Harley Quinn joins superheroes Black Canary, Huntress, and Renee Montoya to save a young girl from an evil crime lord. And I'm guessing that crime lord is Black Mask, played by Ewan McGregor. Now, the title is... Uh, Fantabulous and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. It's it's a really long title. I just I don't understand why they went for it. I guess it's just going for that quirkiness factor. It's fantabulous, not fabulous. You have no idea how many times I messed that up when I was setting up. But let's get to this trailer because everybody's excited about it, including myself. So let's roll. You know what a Harley Quinn is? A harlequin's role is to serve. Mm. It's nothing without a master. No one gives two shits who we are beyond that. Huh. She looks great. The Joker and I broke up. Ooh. I wanted a fresh start. So she's back on the market. Out, I wasn't the only dame in Gotham looking for emancipation. I like how she's narrating. Aina's Miss Queen, she brought me. Hmm. That's Who are you guys? <laughs> really interesting. Here's the deal, Queen. You need me. Mm. God, she looks great. Just brilliant in this. He's after all of us now. Ooh, what was that? That was weird. <laughs> She's Ooh. Ow. one they should be scared of. Not you, not Mr. J. Because I'm Harley freaking Quinn. Yeah. Who's having a good time? Yeah, I am. This looks fantastic. Oh, she's perfect. Perfect. Birds of prey. You never call a woman a chick. I'll accept broad lady woman, but on occasion, bitch. Bitch, what are you talking about for me, William? <laughs> oh, wow. That was a good trailer. That was... Oh, it was just breathtaking. I, I'm shocked. I'm surprised. That's my main takeaway, is, is that I was a little bit skeptical going in because everybody was kind of like, well, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about this. I, I don't want to feel like the, the Suicide Squad... But it doesn't. It, it 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 almost feels like it wants to feel like the Suicide Squad, but it has enough flavor on its own that it gets me intrigued to go, wow, I want to watch that again. And that's precisely what I will do once I'm done this little reaction. Now, Birds of Prey, uh, they also released a bunch of posters that we'll take a look at here too in just a second. But my main takeaway was just that uh, our, obviously Margot Robbie owns this role. She owns it. And she looks fantastic. And I like the fact that we saw her in several different costumes. <laughs> and that's great because we all have our different uh, favorite costumes. And it's, it's great that they're doing, uh, doing that for this character. So we're going to take a look online and uh, we're going to see if we can learn anything more from the IMDb, and then we'll take a look at the posters just to round things out at the end. So let's pull up the IMDb right here. Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation. 
of one Harley Quinn, February 7th. So really, it's not that far away. And I'm guessing that they released the trailer today because the Joker comes out this week and they'll want to have the trailer in front of that. Let's see the synopsis here. It's pretty much the same. And uh, why does it say expected? I thought it was locked in that it was going to come out then. Actually, I thought it was going to be coming out on uh, out on Valentine's Day, but I guess uh, it's a week before. Scrolling down to the cast, Mary Elizabeth Winstead's playing Huntress. Ewan McGregor, of course, is, as I said, is playing Black Mask. We didn't get to see him in his mask, but I'm sure he will at some point. Journey Smollett is playing Black Canary, and Chris Messina's Victor Zaz. Really? I didn't know that. Rosie Perez is Renee Montoya. Now, as far as the story goes, I'm not familiar with the actual comic book story of this. So I'm sure, like most things, it doesn't follow the story exactly. It's kind of just kind of inspired by the main story. So I'm sure they're taking lots of liberties with it. But I'm sure as long as it is relevant to the movie and is contained within the movie and works as a movie, we should be fine. I just want to take a look at one of these posters. Yeah, I was, you see... She's in her roller derby outfit, and my God, she looks fantastic. I just, uh, I gotta take a better look at that. Yeah, that looks great, guys. Uh, <laughs> you know, they're having fun with it, and that's cool. I like that. Uh, I can't wait to see that. Going back to the main page here, I just want to quickly take a look at the director just to see if, uh, well, she has got any credits that we may recognize. This Kathy Yan going over to her page. Mm, okay. Hmm. Producer, director, writer. Uh, she's produced a lot of stuff. A lot, one TV thing here, a lot of shorts. As the director, this is her, well, she did something called Dead Pigs. Pigs. I don't know what that is, but uh, it looks like a full-length feature. So she's done at least one full-length movie, and she's done some shorts. But looking at the trailer, I can feel... Like, it looks like it's solidly made. I just don't know how well the execution of the story will be. And, of course, that will only uh, be revealed when we see the movie. As far as the trailer, did it get me excited? Yes, it did. It got me really excited to see this movie and made me want to watch the trailer again, which I will do for sure. But uh, before I wrap things up here, I want to take a look at the uh, posters. And we'll do so right here. Pulling the first one up here, her with her hyenas. Now, you guys will have to let me know what this, what that's all about because I don't, I, I can't recall seeing her with the hyenas in the cartoons because that's the only place that I know her from. Um, and, uh, I'm sure it's very familiar and I'm sure it's, uh, going to make a lot of people happy to see her with that. Because I just think it's cool. It's kind of just, it's funky. It's weird. I, I'm not too sure what to make of it. Uh, scrolling over to the next one, it's just her on a bullet going through a heart. Yeah, she said that she broke up with the Joker, so it'll be interesting. That one's, it's definitely got a really vibrant color palette, a very, a varying use of it, and it's kind of a dull, kind of pastel y kind of look. There's yellow. Yeah, they're really working with the yellow. Uh, they got some gum there on the bottom. The shoe, and she's got her bat. It's with some wings. That's interesting. And this is my probably my favorite one with her on the top of a cop car. And it looks like she's got a brick in her hand with that's wrapped with a message. It says Gotham. So good. It's taking place in Gotham. Um, yeah, that one's probably my favorite. Let me know which one of these four little posters they released was your favorite because I just think that the marketing of this is just ramping up nicely. It's getting people excited. It's, it's getting people aware. And that's what a good trailer and marketing campaign is supposed to do. It uh, it just looks fantastic, guys. For me, I'm definitely going to have to check it out Check it out again. And uh, yeah, that's it. YouTube is recommending a video for you to watch right here. And you can see my latest one just right up there. My name is James and you're watching Mirror Domains. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe.